Rise and shine. Let's get this thing started. I'm gonna finish my coffee. I just ate my oatmeal protein, protein oatmeal, however the hell you wanna say it. And then we are starting the prep phase of the cutting plan, which is a five by five full body workouts, three days a week for three weeks straight. Not everyone has to do the prep phase. We love doing it. It really feels good. And it just makes you feel badass. Since we are currently on a full body workout program, I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to go over the differences, the pros and cons of full body versus the so-called bro split. I just wanna say first off, one of the major benefits of full body is the focus on compound movements. Stressing multiple joints, muscles, take an amazing amount of energy to perform. They're also very functional. With the likes of squats, deadlifts, and overhead press, being a staple throughout each week. Bodybuilding splits can utilize compound as well, which any good program should, but sometimes they can be neglected or replaced with machines. But hey, if you're limited to what kind of movements you can do, i.e. due to injuries, machines might be a better option. Full body can also be a very efficient way of training. You can be in the gym as little as three days a week and still see great results. Bodybuilding splits can keep you in the gym for up to five to six days a week, which is hard if you don't have the time. But with a lesser amount of time in the gym, you might have to be cautious of creating any kind of muscular imbalances. So we like to take in some isolation exercises after the main compound movements are out of the way, like lateral raises, calf raises, reverse flies, tricep extensions, bicep curls, just to name a few. These body parts could start lagging if you don't give them a little extra love. Now this brings up a good point. Most programs should be geared towards goals. You know that old saying, you are what you eat? Well, there should be a saying for training, you look like what you train like. So although a five by five type training is great for building foundation, function, all that good shit, it probably won't make you look like Arnold. With lower training intensity, focusing on lower reps and higher weights, you might find yourself looking more like Mark Ripito, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. It all just depends on how you wanna mold your body. Cardio will have to be introduced or increased a bit more if you want to get or stay lean. Compound movements take a good amount of energy to perform, but with the longer rest times, your heart rate will not stay elevated throughout the duration of the workouts. Whereas bodybuilding splits can keep your heart rate up with shorter rest times or implementing techniques such as supersets, drop sets, etc. to keep you lean or get you leaner without the need for cardio. Also, 5x5 five five doesn't give you that awe-inspiring, skin-tearing, panty-dropping pumps like bro splits does. But hey, that's not for everyone. But if you were first starting out, I would recommend a five by five type program first for at least a few months and slowly introduce more exercises and techniques as you progress and as your goals change. The verdict is I'll forever be in love with the bodybuilding split, but you can't deny the great benefits of full body workouts if you're just starting out or have never done a five by five program. That's my opinion on the full body versus bro split. What do you guys think? Comment below on your favorite full body or bro split. All right, all this working out talks got me hungry. Welcome to Brandon's Kitchen. What's on the menu today? Well, it's gonna be a nice, hearty, healthy breakfast. Something like a breakfast pizza. What are some of the things you're gonna need for this recipe? Well, it's gonna be a medium to large pan with a lid, a mixing bowl, something to mix it with, a cutting board, and a cutting knife. The ingredients are gonna be eggs, cheese, turkey bacon, onions, and asparagus. So you're gonna add the diced turkey bacon to the skillet on about a medium to medium high heat. Kinda let that cook through a little bit. That's when you add the diced asparagus and onions. Let them cook through a little bit on more of a medium, medium low heat. And after that, that's when you add the eggs and also the cheese. You cover it with a lid and let it cook through on about a low to medium low heat. It is that simple. There we go. Breakfast pizza is done. It's kind of like a pizza, kind of like a scramble. I don't know what the hell to call it, but I'll just call it a pizza because it's round and it's delicious. Oh yeah. Fuck that top. Whew. I should have waited. I let it cool down a little bit. Now time for the real taste test. Mmm. That is delicious. You know it's good when you start cursing after every bite. Mmm. Oh, fuck yeah. Goddamn. Shit. That's some good shit. 
Fuck yeah. Wanted to give you a tour of my new bachelor pad. Just moved in. It's pretty nice. It's in the Hollywood Hills area. You got the entryway. Uh, got the terrace. And then uh, here is where you... Oh, shit. Well, maybe not quite a house. We're actually on set for a new skit that we're gonna be doing called My Buff Buddy. Hudson wrote it, and now we're shooting it at the YouTube studio, so it should be a lot of fun. So you can kind of get an inside look of uh, how the buff dudes work, a little behind the scenes stuff. It is just Hudson and I. We're gonna be shooting this today, and hopefully it'll be uh, full of a lot of laughs. And I have a feeling it will, because we have a laugh track. How the hell do these conspiracy theorists do it? Can't even build one of these. Yeah, I think this thing could stop a bullet. Oh. Nipple head. <laughs> I am Buff Buddy. Is, wow. Is, is Buff Buddy approved? Uh, yeah, it's like a robotic smurf. There was an executive decision made. We changed the, the buff buddy. Now he's cool. Before, he just looked like... Uh, Blackface. <laughs> well, <laughs> so we changed it. to be honest, kind of. You never know. You know, you don't want to... It was definitely meant to be a robot, but we don't want it to be an offensive robot. A little so. darker gray than we really initially I wanted. We were going for silver, damn it. Like, like my nipple head. Like nipple head. I am Buff Buddy, your personal robot assistant. <laughs> Whoa! You look so lifelike! And you look like shit. <laughs> okay, well, that's not exactly what I wanted to hear. Let's go to the store and get you healthy groceries. Alright, let's do it. No beer. What? <laughs> <laughs> We could just both walk in, you walk out from one way, I walk out from the other, and then you just go, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, what do you think? <sighs> I want to switch back. It can or should we just hit it? It should be pretty short. Yeah, 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 yeah. We kind of want you to. Okay. There's probably one thing I should have mentioned, and then what? That body was not built anatomically correct. I don't have a dick. Yeah. And then I go, You mean I don't have a dick? <laughs> not like you used it anyways. <laughs> oh my buff buddy. You're the best. I would say that was a pretty successful week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time. Stay buff.